Hi, my name's Ben Howard and welcome to this video which is going to cover off one of the really frequent questions I get via Twitter or one of the questions I get when I'm consulting and training with customers and that is, hey Ben, how do I get Power BI to auto refresh a set of data stored in a folder in Teams or indeed SharePoint? This is needed when you want to refresh some sort of daily, weekly or monthly reporting data. For example, daily production or quality statistics, weekly sales values, etc. Basically, it's the equivalent to the get data from folder data source, which is built into Power BI. But alas, there is no get data from Teams folder data source. So this is the Power BI hack to get around this limitation. OK, now that you know what we're going to do, let's get started with the video. So here I am in Microsoft Teams and I've created a team for this demo called Power BI Folder Refresh. And you can see I've populated the files app with a mixture of folders, for example, archived files and police data and a mixture of different files. Now, this is a typical example of the unstructured type of data that gets stored in Teams. Let's navigate into that police data folder and view the files in there. This data is publicly available police crime data, which you can download from data.police.uk, and it's great data for playing around with Power BI. But more importantly, it's data that is temporal, i.e. it's available per month, and so it's updated per month, which suits our demo very nicely. So let's drill into the police data folder, and you can see we've got four files in there. Each file represents a month's worth of reported crime by force, and if we select a file, you can see that it's just a comma separated variable file with the month the crime related to, the force the crime was reported by, and various other columns. Going back to the Teams folder, my goal is to combine all of these files into a single file for reporting purposes. But more importantly, to be able to drop new monthly files into this folder and have any Power BI reports that use this folder as a data source auto refresh based upon the update. This technique is very handy for any type of data that you report by period, for example, by day, week or month, as in this case. So the important thing to realize is that the file store for Teams is actually SharePoint. And so the trick is to use this button here to navigate to the SharePoint web page to see these files. And of course, we can now see the police data folder amongst all of the other files and folders. Now, what we need to do is take what's called the root URL of this site, i.e everything up to the shared documents folder part of the URL. So I'll just highlight the appropriate portion and copy it to the clipboard. With that copied, I'll go and open Power BI. And within Power BI, I'll click on Get Data and then More. And I want to get the data from a SharePoint folder. So I'll just search for the available SharePoint sources and select the SharePoint folder source. Here's where we need the site URL. And just to confirm that, if I just mouse over the little information icon button there, you can see the prompt to enter the root URL of a SharePoint site, not including subfolders. So I'll paste in the copied root URL and select OK. What Power BI now does is it goes away and provides a list of all of the files within the root URL, including any buried in a folder. You can see we're given the file name and various other attributes, including importantly, the full folder path, though alas, in this interface, we can't see the whole of that path. Anyway, it's a simple case of clicking on transform data to open up the Power Query editor, which is where the magic's going to happen. Now, 
What I want to do at this stage is to filter out any files that are not included in the police data folder. If I select the folder path for the first row here, you can see the full path is shared documents, general police data. And if I select the fifth item, the full path is shared documents general. So by filtering and selecting the police data folder, I can reduce the files down to the ones I want, i.e. the ones that exist and are stored within that folder. Once I've done that, I can use this button, which invokes a custom function to append these files together. I'm prompted with the usual dialog box to preview the data and I can click OK to confirm. And of course, lo and behold, the files are combined together. Brilliant. I'll click close and apply to load all of the data into Power BI and go and create and publish my report. In this case, I'm going to publish a report to a workspace called YouTube. Once that's published, let's view the report in the service. And of course, everything works as expected. What I want you to notice at the moment is that we've got the data for the months of October and November and a count of crime ID of just over 48,000. Now, let's think about the process of what happens when we've got some new monthly files. And in this case, I've got data for December 2020. All I need to do is go back to the police data folder in Teams and add the latest files simply by dragging and dropping them into the folder. Once that's done, we have to go and perform a refresh of the data. This can either be scheduled or a manual refresh. If you're not sure how to set up a scheduled refresh, then please watch my video with a rather large title of Power BI Teams and SharePoint Excel and CSV File Auto Refresh. It's a bit of a long title, but well worth a watch. Anyway, I haven't set up auto refresh for this demo, so I'll just navigate to the data set and initiate a refresh. Whilst that's refreshing, remember that the count of crime ID that we had reported was just over 48,000 and that we had data for the months of October and November. Now that that's finished refreshing, I'll navigate back to the content, click on the report, and I can immediately see the updated numbers. In this case, the count of crime ID is now over 70,000 and we've got data for October, November and December. So there you have it. That's how you can set up your report to refresh data that's held in a Teams or SharePoint folder. If you like the video, please consider subscribing and sharing with your colleagues.